Good evening. Good evening. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'll just start with introducing myself. My name is Alvin Aaron, born in St Hallier, attended school in St Hallier until my parents moved to England where I completed my education at St George's Grammar School. After returning to Jersey in the 80s, I then went on travelling the globe and worked abroad for some years. I returned to live in St Hallier in 1990 and opened my first successful business in the catering industry. I currently live in Havde Park and own a, and run a successful business in St Hallier. As a proprietor of a business in town over the past three years, I have listened to views of people from all walks of life and discussed issues that uh, we, the residents and business owners, have living in, working in St Hallier. I came to the conclusion, especially after 2004, that, there, that for there to be any changes, I would have to put myself up for re-election. The old saying, if you want something done, do it yourself. This is why I'm standing before you tonight. <clears throat> While searching for inspiration as to what I should say this evening, I came across Mr. Krokoff's manifesto for 2001. What better place to begin? And this is what I found. Mr. Krokoff said he wanted a better bus service for town. Where is it? I say bring back the hopper popular with locals and visitors alike. Only police would be up to full force within a year. That was 2001, it's now 2007, and we have a struggling honorary system, not good enough. Mr. Krokoff said he was committed to making town a better place for young people, the Millennium Park. No sight of that happening seven years later. Mr. Frank Walker has again promised funding for the Millennium Park, but has not said where the money is coming from. I say use the interest from the Rainy Day Fund, get the park open. Mr. Crowcroft also said he appreciates the value of small businesses who provide 60% of the rate's income. Mr. Crowcroft wanted a parish business partnership in to improve the town environment, better unloading bays, better access for the customers. Well, I'm sorry, but I see much less street parking, an invasion of bollards on our streets, and access roads closed. Not good enough. This leaves town business, and especially our much-loved central markets, struggling, because we need to be able to park to shop. I, if elected, will bring back free town street parking and the car parks will be pay as you exit. Everybody pays for the time they park and we can move the traffic wardens out of the car parks where they are targeting motorists unfairly and get them back on the streets where they belong. Elderly care. We need to make provisions for the old age. I support Senator Sivray's proposal for a social insurance scheme like the one in Guernsey. To pay for residential care, I will make this a priority. I will also examine ways to help with the burden of rates on the elderly. All too often, pensioners end up asset rich but income poor. When a £400 rates bill becomes a serious problem, income support is not the answer. If it takes 26 pages of questions, this cannot be right. I will fight those bureaucrats. Where help is needed, it should be given. And just to end, let me say, I'm a no-nonsense kind of person who's been running businesses successfully for the past 17 years. I have the drive, the commitment, and the passion to get things done. The door to the town hall will always be open. So do you really want more of the same or is it time for change? I believe the time for change is now. A strong voice, your voice, must be heard. Let's make everyone in St Hallier proud to live and work here. If it matters to you, it matters to me. Thank you.
Thank you, Alvin um, Aaron. But we now come to the questions. Um,